Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. I'm uh, going to start the week's action off today after a mixed week. We had some good ones. We missed on, on, on Jojo Diaz. Um, I thought that was a bogus decision, but we took the L either way, but we took the wins on Ramon Gardner's and, and a bunch of other fights. So it was, it was a mixed week that we still made money on. Didn't have that perfect week that we wanted to. We are 7-2 over the last two weeks. So you can't really uh, you can't really argue with that. So let's get into today's shows. Uh, today's show is going to be a good one. Uh, we're going to break down the Kosei Ta- Tanaka fight versus uh, Christian Rocky. Uh, and I'm going to put to this name, Bakasegwa. I, I think that's right. Bakasegwa. Rocky Bakasegwa, they call him. Uh, we're going to get into that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, we are absolutely killing it. I said 7-2 and two over the last two weeks. Uh, let's go 4-0, 4-1 and oh, uh, this week. We'll try to do four fights, five fights, like we always do. Uh, I was out of town. I was at the Oshaki Forster fight, which, of course, we hit Oshaki Forster too. Oshaki on points. Uh, we are just absolutely killing it. Uh, before we, uh, and remember, we don't gamble. I don't gamble here, but if you guys do, I'm going to consistently show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a second uh, stream of income. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Please follow my Patreon. Uh, my Patreon is uh, you get it's just five dollars a month. You get all the perks, the free T-shirt, which is fantastic. Uh, you get the lock of the week. You can ask me anything. You can ask me a handicap fight. There's a ton of perks. Just five dollars a month. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. On YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Kosai Tanaka is is a really, really good fighter. Um, yeah, he's not perfect, but he's really good. Um, nineteen and one, eleven knockouts, five four and a half. Good power. He's twenty eight years old. Good jab. Good lateral movement. He's a Fluid athlete for the most part. He's not ultra quick, uh, but he's got a little flexibility to a little mobility to him. Um, he does his head gets stationary at times, and he's not very difficult to hit. Uh, you can stick out the jab and, and kind of hit him with it. Uh, he's you know sometimes he'll just stand in too much. He should keep the fight on the outside. That's his strength. He wants to move forward, and he does go to the body well. Throws good combinations. Like I said, he mixes in body shots. He mixes up head and body really well. He's got a really strong base. He's got strong, big legs. Like he, he's, he's got some power. He's got some strength. To him. You know, he's not a massive hitter. I think his power is certainly respectable. He flicks out the jab. I, I, I like how he uses his jab. He sits down. He commits to his punches. He's, he's a pretty good offensive fighter who moves well. When he is coming forward, though, when he is marching forward, and this is why I wanted to be on the outside, He's kind of stationary. He's he's not difficult to hit. His head doesn't move much, although his hands are up. He, you know, but he opens up and, and he can be hit. He fights with a good pace, you know, decent volume. He doesn't let you get comfortable, which is what I like. He'll keep touching you, keep touching you. He'll keep you on the defensive. He'll change your offense to, to defense. He's good on the inside. He's got good offensive skills, but like I said, he's better at long range. That's that's where he wants this fight. If he really wants to get in on him, he, he, he needs to get in and out. We're going to get into Bakasegwa, who I found uh, quite a bit of tape on. Um, but we're going to get into him and what his strengths and what his weaknesses are. Uh, but uh, I, I like how he counters. He, he's really good with the counter right hand Tanaka. He's a good offensive fighter, decent power, decent. He, he's, he's fundamentally responsible. Except he doesn't move his head much. He's not the hardest guy to hit. He can be hit in his one loss. He did get stopped, which was kind of an odd stop, which I thought to I- Ioka. He was losing the fight, although he was, you know, mostly competitive in the fight. He came back. He got a win. Split decision win over uh, Showa Shida. And then he's got a couple not really 
high level wins, the highest level wins uh, since then. But fortunately for him, you know, Christian Bakasegwa, who they call Rocky, he's a long ranging fighter. He's tall. They call him, like I said, they call him Rocky. He's a little bit slow. He doesn't look to be in the best shape, typically. He hasn't fought anyone of note yet, but he doesn't really look to be ripped. He, he looks a little loose. He always looks flabby. I found about three fights on him. He's just nowhere near the class. He's not a world-class fighter. He uses his jab. He fights tall. He, he does do that, and he, and he throws in good volume. I really can't believe they're putting this guy in with Saka. I, I don't even see. Like, I'm looking at the odds, and they're not nearly wide enough because I see him having zero shot. He's slow and plotting. He likes to come forward. He's wide open when he does. All he is is big and strong. I, I don't see a whole lot of skills in him. He likes to stay at range, but he's not going to outbox Tanaka at range. He's good at range. I, I couldn't find his height and reach. He is tall and long, and, and, and he fights that way, but he's slow and easy to hit. He's not very athletic. He doesn't move. He just kind of plots, you know, plods forward. He gets a little wild and sloppy. I, I, I don't, I, I, I just don't see it in the kid. You, you look at his record, and I'm not completely caught up on his record, but he's 2024, 22-4-2. With nine knockouts, he, he's not a puncher. Although he, he you know, he, he throws everything hard. I watched the fight where he fought a guy named Eric Omar Lopez. Very competitive fight with a guy who's sixteen eight and two. I, I just don't see at anything in him. He's slow and he misses. He's got a good jab, but he's slow and he, and he misses. And he's going to be really easy to counter and hit. And like I said, Tanaka might not have sensational power, but he certainly has respectable power. He's wide open to be hit. He crosses his feet. He's just not fundamentally sound. But he keeps punching, right? Like, he's that kind of fighter. He's got a little bit of that Mexican style, even though I don't think he's a particularly good Mexican fighter. I don't see this guy at all being at the level of Tanaka. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the odds. This is an easy bet for me. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this in, in, in this week's parlay for the lock of the week. I'm not sure what the lock of the week is yet, but it's Kosei Tanaka, minus 550, times two. I don't even think this is close to, to wide enough if you go look at Bakasegwa. Like, I don't even think this is like, – I, I think this should be like minus 2,000. It's that wide of a difference to me. I don't see it at all in Bak Bakasegwa. Uh, but like I said, minus 550 – Two times bet. I love this bet. It makes you 36 36. Lock in the profit. Probably use this in a parlay. This is a can't miss stone cold lock. Tanaka's a good fighter. Ba uh, Baka Segwa really isn't. You know, he's an opponent level guy. I, I see him getting destroyed. I see him probably getting stopped, although I do see him getting stopped. Uh, probably late, maybe in the middle, maybe early. I, I definitely see him getting stopped. I, I don't know how I would advise you to bet on the over-under, but on a prop bet, I, I depending on what the odds are, if you have odds you want to ask me, please feel free. Uh, but I, I definitely like to not going to stop him. Minus 550 times two makes you 36-36. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Book in all forms of social media. Uh, there's always a bull market somewhere. The Boxing Book is always going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. We make money every single week betting on the on the sport of boxing. Uh, we're going to continue to we're going to continue to do that. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well. That's uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is – oh, so I follow the Patreon too. It's five dollars a month. The link is in the description. You're going to get all types of great perks. The Lock of the Week, which, which we are killing it on. Um, the free T-shirt. You can ask me anything. Uh, put it down below. The link is below. It is February 19th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.